Hello, I'm Randy Hopper, president of Ranger Boats, and uh, we'd like to take you on a plant tour, and I want to thank you for joining in on this tour. We're real proud of what we do, and I think it will show as we go through. What I want to talk to you about a little bit beforehand, if I could, before we actually get into the plant, is what really makes Ranger Ranger. And we've based uh, everything we do on what we call a five-star advantage. It's all about quality, performance, resale value, safety, and innovation. Uh, those five points of the star, if you will, we put a lot of effort and emphasis into making our boat, your boat, the best that it can be. I want to talk to you a little bit about quality, and I think quality goes without saying that it's being the best you can be, but we've taken what we've learned over the many decades that we've been in the boat business and applied those directly to the aluminum operation. You'll see some things that we're doing a little bit differently, things that uh, really make the product not only look good, but be good. Another aspect of our five-star advantage is performance. At Ranger, we've always looked at performance as more than just how fast the boat will go in a straight line. We want to have a total performing product, including fishability, which ultimately is what we're gonna be using the product for, so that's very, very important. Another aspect is resale value. We believe that we need to provide you a product that will last through the cycle of your ownership, and then you be able to sell it and hopefully to go buy another one of our products. Safety is an important part of what we do as well, and when we talk about safety, we think about many aspects of the boat, but foam flotation is certainly a big part of that. Many decades ago, we worked with the U.S. Coast Guard when they commissioned us to build some product that would actually be used for educational purposes throughout the country. You'll notice in our marketing in the past many years, we've used that same way of promoting and showing that in a Ranger boat, we inject foam into virtually every cavity that's not used for something else. I think one of the big things in our aluminum boat is that we're taking the technology that we've built over the last several decades in the fiberglass side and we're actually applying that to the aluminum. And that's important to you because when you run one of our boats across the lake, you will notice that one piece feel, that real quiet, solid, no vibration. And that's largely because we have foamed the floor or the inner liner to the hull. And that makes a huge difference. On the foam flotation, we use a real high grade of, it's a two and a half or so pound density foam. And when we foam this into place, we don't take chunks like this and place it in the boat. We put it in wet or as a froth. And what that does, it attaches to the hull side and the deck side. So it makes that very, very solid and very sound. So it's an important part of the way we build a boat. And one of the differences of our five-star advantage. The last part of the five-star advantage is innovation. Just to point out a few things that we're doing on the Ranger product, and whether it's a heavy extrusion that would run around the gunnel that would receive the side so it could be welded into place to make a real strong structure, a keel extrusion, much the same way, that has a slot for the hull sides to be welded into place, top and bottom. Whether it's a fiberglass console that's made in our fiberglass plant, it gives you a cantilever design so you have lots of leg room to swing in and out. We're also using the pull treated fiberglass on our aluminum product as well. Recess well for the trolling motor pedal and many, many other things that you'll see as you go through the plant. We hope you agree that there's a lot of innovation that has been put into this generation of Ranger aluminum product. One of the other things that I think we must talk about when we're talking about innovation that can't be overlooked is the trailer side. We build our own trailers. Ranger Trail brand goes under each one of our aluminum products as well. And one of the things I think that makes it most significantly different is it's built out of channel. We do that for a couple of reasons, but the main reason is that so we can coat it in its entirety around all the surfaces. When you take a piece of channel, and you see that there's no inside like there would be in tubing that we can't get to to properly coat or corrosion proof. We're using our polyurea system. It's a patented process we call road armor. We're applying that to all of our Ranger Trail trailer frames, axles, the entire structure, and that gives you a surface that's almost impervious to all of the things you would expect to encounter on the road, the road hazards of chips and things that would normally chip paint this material will just repel it. The last point I'll bring up about the innovative side of the Ranger Aluminum product is the, the testing that goes into the making of one of these products. You'll see us on the lake testing various horsepower engines, testing for all aspects of performance. 
So as we wrap up what I've been calling the five-star advantage, I think you'll agree that the closer you look into our product, the more you'll like what you see. Let's join Lance Newton on the fabrication side, and he'll take us on a tour of the entire facilities. Hello, I'm Lance Newton, Operations Manager with Ranger Boats. And I'd like to welcome you to our aluminum facility today. We're going to take a walk through the plant. Come join us. This is where the aluminum boat manufacturing process starts. And as you can see, our raw material comes in on 6,000 pound coils. And we're loading this material onto our cutting table. This is a CNC plasma cutting table. The hull sides, the hull bottom, all the main structure of the boat is 100,000 aluminum. It's a 50-52 alloy. As we walk through the process, just keep in mind that each piece, each hull side, each part that we cut is being cut right here on this table. We have programs in the computer and we'll just go in there and if we want to cut the parts for a RT-178, he punches it up, pulls it up on the computer and cuts the program out. The very next step is bringing those parts over here to these press brakes. As you can see, we have three different press brakes in the plant, but right here behind us, we're operating a small 100 ton CNC press brake. And what this does is this bends these small parts that eventually will go into the boat. We're at the next step in the process, and what happens here is once the parts are cut and once they're bent, they're brought to the line to start fabrication process. As we go through the process, I'm gonna point out some, some things that uh, we believe is better. We have engineered into our product to try to make it as stable and, and as good a product as possible. As you can see, as we put the Ranger name on at the end of the line, we're very proud of what we do. And it starts right here in the welding process. We use this kill extrusion. You can see the hull side that is bent here locks right into this kill extrusion. Instead of two pieces being joined together and welded, we lock this in and then we weld inside and out. So that gives you a really good base to start with. This is completely welded from stem to stern. Both sides of this kill extrusion, one complete weld. You can see the, the TIG welds down the side, very quality welds. Once the hull's been pre-welded, we bring it to this point in the process. We're welding in the, the stringers, we're welding the bow caps on, we're putting the gunnel extrusions on. And one thing I want to point out here is we force press our stringers into the bottom of the hull. As you can see, the boat is setting on a, a welding fixture at this point, which keeps the bottom true. That's very important when you're welding the stringers into the boat. As you can see, it's all weld, no rivets in this product. What we're looking at here is our welding leak test. And this is something that we've designed into our process. We want to check for welds in the bottom of the hull before we put any of the deck pieces in. If there are leaks, which they can be, um, obviously because of the burn through on the weld, we want to fix them at this point. And what we're doing here is putting all the small parts in the boat, the deck, uh, front and rear decks, the floors. It's starting to kind of look like a boat at this point. Up until now, it's just been a hull in the stringer system. Several of the components that go in the boat at the last process that we just looked at are built offline. As you can see behind me, we have several tables set up with welders at each table. And we're building the sub-assemblies at this point. We're building the transom, the rear deck, the front deck, the floors, and other components that will eventually go into the boat. This is the last step in the fabrication process of the aluminum boat. You can see behind me, this is a process we call finish weld. What we do at this point in the process is all these welds that he's doing behind me are TIG welded. These are the, the high quality, visible welds that you're gonna see on the product once it's complete. One of the true advantages of the Ranger product is the fact that we fill these boats full of a two-part foam, just like we do in the fiberglass plant. As you can see, we shoot this expanding foam under the floor, and that fills up all the voids. And you can tell this when you run this product. You get it out on the lake, and the, you don't hear that hollow sound that you do with a lot of other aluminum boats. You get a solid one-piece feel. And that's something that we've tried to do from the inception of this product is to be sure we build a product that's solid, one piece fill, and has that true Ranger quality. Once the boat completes the fabrication process, we then bring it into to our state-of-the-art paint booths. As you can see, he's applying a coat of urethane paint to the product at this point. 
We designed these paint booths uh, when we built the plant, and they're a, a true downdraft paint booth, which have a, a heated cure system in it. So once the boat gets painted, we don't touch it, we don't move it, we don't do anything to it. We just kick it into a cure cycle and let the paint cure at that point before we move it on through the process. I'm sitting in a Ranger RT-180. Before this boat goes out to the dealer, I want to take just a moment to walk you through the product and show you some of the advantages of our aluminum series. We'll start at the bow of the boat. Our boats come standard with Minco to trolling motor, Marantz Electronics. Every Ranger Tournament series comes standard with a recessed trolling motor. One of the advantages we have in the aluminum business is being able to use our resources at the fiberglass plant. As you can see, this is a fiberglass console standard in the Ranger Tournament Series. Also in the 188, we have a center rod box. You can see vast storage for your rods in the center, eight rod holders. This is the same style rod organizer that's in a Z520C. So we're cutting no corners with this aluminum product. You can see vast storage on both the port and starboard sides under the front deck. Another one of the quality components that we're very proud of are the seats that are in the Ranger Tournament Series. As you can see, these seats are high quality vinyl. These are built right here in our plant in Flippin'. Underneath the seats, we have vast storage that is lined with a polyurea molded mat. As we make our way to the rear deck, you will see that there's vast amount of storage space back here as well. There's a 30 gallon divided live well. Storage boxes on both the port and starboard side. These are molded to accept Plano boxes. You hear that? That's a foam filled box. The rear deck is full of foam. The floor is full of foam. Sections of the front deck are full of foam. Keep in mind, this is the same flotation foam that we use in the Z520C. And vast storage space where your batteries and fuel tank and bilge pumps are. This gives you easy access to your bilge, bilge pumps and all the components in the rear. Boats come standard with a battery charger. As the boat comes off the line, the very last thing we do is a quality control check. Just as we do in fiberglass, we want to be sure that this boat's the very best before we put a Ranger decal on the side and send it to the dealer. As you know, it doesn't matter the quality of your boat unless you can get it to the water. And one thing that we do here at Ranger for all our fiberglass and aluminum product is build our trailers in-house. As we walk through this trailer, I want to point out some of the features that we feel like are very valuable to the customer. First off is this trailer, as I said, is built in-house and it's standard with a road armor coating. This is the same coating that we use on the trailers that we put fiberglass boats on. Also standard, swing away tongue. A lot of our customers are trying to get these boats in a small garage. Obviously, you can swing the tongue away and compact that space a little bit more. As we move away on back, you'll see that the, the trailer is standard channel frame trailer. Typically, a lot of the boats in the industry are tube frame trailers, which can rust from the inside out with water getting inside and getting trapped. This won't happen with this trailer. Another feature on the Ranger Tournament Series trailer are the custom aluminum wheels, radial tires, and the integrated step. I want to thank you for taking the time to tour our facilities with us. It's important to us to show you what we really believe makes a difference in our product. And there are many differences you can find out more about as you go online or call our 800 number or go see our dealer who will be equally passionate about the product that he's presenting to you. Really, when Forrest Wood founded the company almost 50 years ago, it was based on a simple philosophy. Number one, build what customers want. And that's what we have tried very hard to do throughout our existence. Build what people want and what they need for the maximum enjoyment on the water. And you'll see that in all of our models, whether it's our RT series, the VS Deep V series that I'm setting in, or our MPV series. They're all built with one thing in mind, and that is to maximize your experience on the water. Secondly, Forrest believed that it was important to give the customer the proper service before, during, and after the sale. So not only before and during when the dealer is really leading you into the different options that you may want on the boat, and they are varied. We offer power of choice, for example, the motor that you would prefer on the transom. 
After the sale, it's important to give you the service and the ongoing support. We have really excelled in that over the years and being able to offer parts and aftermarket accessories for the boats that we build, not just at the time of manufacture, but for many years afterward. And that will be important as an owner. That final point of Forest philosophy was be sure and communicate with your customer and tell them what you have. We want to invite you to become part of the Ranger family. We want to be your boat company. We think in that family you'll share a pride of ownership with thousands of others across the country that you can't experience any other way. We're dedicated, we're committed, and we look forward to seeing you down the road soon. This is the hard-earned legacy of Ranger, created to excite, engineered to excel, and built to be yours.